Hello, I am Michelle Baker, the Chief Confidence Igniter, Transformational Keynote Speaker, Confident Living Catalyst, and Authentic Selling Alchemist. And today is Mondays with Michelle. And our topic today, I want to jump right in here, is making the impossible possible. This is one of my favorite topics and I'm gonna start with a quote by Nelson Mandela. It will always seem impossible until done. I verbiage that a little bit on Michelle and it's truer words have not been spoken. All greatness demands that one individual thinks that it's possible when everyone else thinks that's it impossible. So whatever you are thinking today, that may feel like it can't be done or it's been too long or it's too late or you don't know enough or you don't know the right people and yet and still you can't stop thinking about it, that's your impossible. And impossible by Audrey Hepburn, she says, her quote is, the word is not impossible, it's I'm possible. Just add an apostrophe after the I, capitalize that P, and it's I'm possible, which is I am possible. And it's an affirmation. So if you truly believe in the infiniteness of our deity, right, then there's nothing that's impossible. You have been given something to give the world and a lot of times your gift, the thing that makes you absolutely amazing is on the other side of the fear of the seemingly impossible. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips today for to get you started. One, create a clear captivating vision. So the vision will make provision. What that means is when you create that target, that big, hairy, audacious dream or goal that's way out into the future and you can't see how you get there, the path of going on to that destination, you become someone formidable and incredible in the path. And remember, it is for you to believe. No one is required to believe in your vision but you. You and you alone have been given this. That's why it creates greatness in people who go and they achieve it and accomplish it is because they did the journey alone. And you will find help and support and, and tutors and teachers and all type of things along the way. And the first part is generally the hardest part, the getting started, because there really aren't a lot of people who believe and there'll be a lot of naysayers and critics and sometimes it takes you off the current path and you're not gonna get a lot of agreement. You may, but in many cases you won't. Number two, ask yourself better questions. So generally when people are doing things they've never done before, feel uncomfortable, uncertainty, and adequacy, all those things, when things, the unexpected, the unplanned happen, People generally start asking questions about why did this happen? Why is this unfair? Why is this happening to me? What's wrong with me? How can I get it better? The questions are generally around the negativity of the impact of something that has caused and created uncertainty. What I am encouraging you to do is to look at how to ask those questions in a way that would garner, because when you keep asking what's wrong with you, you keep getting invalidated what's wrong with you. Your mind, who you are, will always answer every question you ask. Every question you ask will be answered. Many times, we don't even slow down long enough to recognize we are constantly being given the answer. So I say we as humans. So when you begin to ask questions like, hmm, I wonder who would be the best person to call to discover this. Hmm, I wonder what would be the best choice, what's the best path. I wonder, right, when you start doing things out of curiosity and wonder and asking those questions, I wonder how I can get better. I wonder how I can, right? So those things will begin to show up. Remember, you have a reticular activator at your brain. And what that does, is like a dog playing fetch. So when you give the dog clear instructions, it will go out and bring that bone back. Now, if it's not clear, doesn't know where to go. If you give it too many instructions, it doesn't know which bone to pick up. The same is true for our brain. Now, number three, speak what you seek until you see what you say. Your ability to speak, everything we speak about, we bring about. So when you begin to use words like I am, I can't, I will versus I want, do you understand that every time you say I want, it's a state of not having. You are creating the habit of not having, because if you had it, you wouldn't want it. You wouldn't need to want it. So when you say, I am, I can, I will, you are actualizing and creating the emotions and the anticipation and the expectation that it will happen. I want continues to create the expectation of you still needing something. So speak what you seek until you see what you said. 
four, take action. Action is the power that will dissipate and it, it, it's, a, it's a doubt killer. When you are in action, you are, when you are action moving in the direction and you make it a habit of doing actions that are bold and audacious and brazen and brave, things that are you here and inside of you and you do them anyway, you will create in yourself a sense of confidence and pride and you'll begin to believe in yourself. Now, what happens is the hesitation creates fear and doubt. Asking too many people. I recently talked to somebody who had talked to like a half a dozen people about what she should do. And when I asked her, well, what do you think you should do? She had no clue. The more people she talked to, the less likely she was to discover that, at, that answer instead of, right, pushing back. Sometimes that action, if it comes from someone else, simply ask them, why do you think I should do this? You'd be amazed at how many people can't tell you why, but they're sitting there telling you what you ought to do. Now, and again, be relentless. So your relentlessness will bring about and dissipate fear and doubt. The more you do something, the more you are building up inside of yourself uh, courage and fortitude and strength. Your willingness to keep going will create the whisper that will then be, a vol the volume continues to go up. The more you pursue your dreams, the bigger the voice inside of you becomes, the more the fear begins to dissipate and roll off of you like water off a duck's back. Be relentless because relentlessness generally leads to resourcefulness and resourcefulness is where you begin to get your answers and your support and all the things that will lead you to build out whatever that clear captivating vision was for you. So as I mentioned, Audrey Hepburn reminds us that it, the word is not impossible, it's I'm possible. You are possible and your possibilities always begin with something big and incredible. Little dream lights little fire inside of you. The bigger the dream, the bigger the fire it lights inside of you. And the more you can burn away the fear and see that what you were thinking was once impossible is absolutely possible. Have a great day. This has been a moment with Michelle. If you want to contact me, need information, looking for a transformational keynote speaker, just reach me in the information down below and have a great day and I will see you next Monday.